Rusalk is a wonderful opera for a director because you get to imagine a world that may be connected to this world, but also has the opportunity to be a world that's never really been, that's fantastical and self-contained unto its own, where the clothes aren't quite clothes that anyone has ever quite worn, and that it's imaginative. It's an imaginative opera. It's not realism. It's not naturalism. What Rusalka is about is a water spirit or sprite, which the Czech term for such a creature is a Rusalka. And she is in love with a prince that she's seen from below the waves, who does not see her but senses or feels her. And in order to complete this love, she goes to Yeji Baba, a witch, to gain the ability to walk and breathe and be among mortals and experience this mortal love, but at the cost of being able to speak. If it stands for anything, to me it stands for an idea that if you have to undergo a radical transformation of yourself for a love that you feel you want to complete, it's probably likely that that love will not lead to a good place because you've gone away from your own nature in order to become visible. For some reason, the fairy tale world to me is a as a 18th century world, an imaginative world all to its own, with its own aesthetic and its own logic. In the first scene, we're in a, a sort of painted room or painted series of portals with a large natural tree in the middle of it and a, a bit of the pond below in a sort of abstracted form. And when we go to the palace, but it's in the opposite color, it's red, saturated red. And I wanted that palace to be both alluring and attractive and saturated with the feeling of romance and with love, but to also be somewhat oppressive and a little menacing and a place where she is not at home. My costume designer, Mary Blumenfeld, and I have worked together a very long time. For Rusalka, we had the idea that her garment should trail into actual water lilies. She speaks about being tangled in them. And we wanted the dress to be, honestly, although beautiful and graceful, a little cumbersome for her, a little difficult to walk. And one of the things that I very much wanted to underscore was the extreme nature of the journey that Rusalka goes on, sort of bodily transformation and metamorphoses. When you're in love at first, the whole world is luminescent and so vivid and beautiful. And then when something goes wrong, it feels grayed out and used up and as though your love was perhaps an illusion. I'm very excited about working with Christine. She seems very um, game to me and I love that. I love a, a singer who's game and physically adept and imaginative, graceful, emotional, all of that. <laughs>